everybody, Coach Megan here, and on this episode, we are going to be talking about something that will be lethal for your success at your next pageant. So listen up, okay? Today we're gonna to be talking about how certainty comes from action. We just had two more people join the Pageant Academy today out of the 20 spots. Let's see, today is July 7th that I'm recording this, and we've already had five out of the 20 join. So do the math <laughs> if you're not on my calendar yet to join, you might want to because then I'm having a baby and they, there will be no more spots available. They just won't because you will not be my priority and I will not apologize for that. So get on the calendar. Link is below. Confidence comes from certainty. Certainty comes from action. That is what we are talking about today. And I want to give you guys a ton of examples from my own life as well as some examples of some other people's lives and why I know this to be true. And this is super important for two reasons. Well, three reasons. One, like I said, it's going to help you in your pageant like so much faster. B, if you cannot understand this, you will continue to make excuses the rest of your life of why everything is happening to you and why you're not getting the results that you're looking for. Three, when you do adopt this as a mantra for your life, A, I want you as a client <laughs> because it's like the number one thing that I look for is people that actually get off their butt and do something about the things that they say that they want. And and also 3B, look at me remembering things. Like you will be overall a more congruent, happier, more successful, more productive person because success leaves clues and one of those clues is action. Can I get an amen? Okay. It's just, it's just a thing. Okay. So contrary to popular belief, like confidence, certainty, self-assurance, whatever you want to call it, will not come by like forcing yourself to think that you're confident. Okay, here's what most mindset coaches do. They're like, stay 15,000 affirmations in the mirror and tell yourself that you believe in yourself. Look at yourself in the eyes and say, I am beautiful. I am strong. I am a good speaker. And while life and death is in the power of tongue, okay, so like, I love that for you. Words matter. Don't say the opposite of those things. Don't be like, I'm ugly. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid because that's also going to manifest, okay? But confidence inherently and certainty inherently, okay, if I just tell myself, girl, you are a brain scientist. Girl, you are 145 pounds. You are whatever, okay? If I just tell myself and I take no action that does not like girl you need a medical degree you don't know how to operate on someone's cabeza just because you say that you are a neurosurgeon okay like I can tell myself that till I am blue in the face that does not make me a neurosurgeon it does not make me qualified nor should anyone give me the access the ability or the qualifications to do that right? It's literally like over 10 years of medical school. Why do I know? Because my best friend is an OBGYN and she has been in school since dinosaurs were on this planet, basically. Okay. And is still in school. And thank God, because there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn when you're taking care of people, right? So traditional mindset coaches will say, just you know, say your affirmations and just believe it. And just, and I'm like, no, it doesn't work. Because if you're still sitting on the couch, eating pretzels, Pringles, and bonbons, for four hours a day, watching five hours of Netflix instead of going to the gym, taking the actions that you need to take because you're doing a pageant, you are achieving a thing, you are running towards a goal. Well, you're not running, you're sitting on the couch, but, you know, working towards a goal that you say that you care about. But if I were to take my little magnifying glass or be a little birdie on your wall, you ain't doing nothing, okay? So of course you're not confident. Of course you're not certain. Certainty comes from action, okay? Back to the neuroscientist thing. If I have done 1,000 brain operations or the amazing doctor that had done 1,000 total neck dissections and then went and did a gigantic dissection to remove the cancerous lymph node, lymph node from my husband, were we more confident because that doctor was like the number one in the country that had done a bajillion of these? Yes, because his level of action made us more certain to go through what could have been a dangerous operation without the Jesus side of it, right? It, we knew it was going to be perfect surgery. So 
right? That gave me confidence. I didn't, I didn't want the newbie. I didn't want the intern. I didn't want the resident. I wanted the big man. Give me the big man that's done a thousand of these that can show me the receipts, okay? That has taken the action that has been in the field for like 25, 30 years. And then ironically, we actually met his boss too. And he's like, oh, I trained Dr. Panwar. We're like, cool, that's awesome. He's like, oh, he's a good dude. He's the one you want slicing you open. And we're like, eh. I think that was supposed to make me feel better. Thank you so much for that. You know, yeah, great. And along the way, right? So how does this relate to your pageant? Hopefully you're connecting the dots by now. But if you just hope that your walk's going to look great or you hope that your introduction's going to be go well or you hope that you'll be able to do your hair and makeup correctly on that day, good luck with that. That is stupid because you are in full control of the amount of repetitions that can just make you more confident, okay? Now, where does coaching come in? Coaching comes in because we want to make sure that you're not just aimlessly firing at a target that is 10 miles wide and high, okay? We provide the target and we say, here is where winning is, and we teach you how to shoot at that target over and over and over and over. In fact, for 2025, I'm always improving our program, right? I'm about to show this to my client success director, and I wrote out like a three-page pathway of the exact, like, it's like the the top 50 things that in our six-month program, if you accomplish, I don't even know if there's 50, there might be like 40. These are the 40 things that I'm like, if we were to break down what all of our super successful clients that win state titles or higher, that have gone through Pageant Academy do, these are the specific milestones, like the actual end things that if you were to check a box, they do all these things. They accomplish all these things. So as opposed to, again, just kind of having motivation or things that tickle your ears, no, like we need strategy. We need where's the target? How do I hit it? What's the deadline? And then you take massive and perfect action leading up to that, okay? So when I won Miss Nebraska, when I won Miss Nebraska USA, I won on my first tries. That's great. That's not everyone's story. And that's honestly not meant for everyone. There's a lot of development that could have happened that would have made me more successful in Miss America, which is cool. You know, whatever. It is what it is. But what made me successful in the first place? Well, if I actually look at the phases of competition, I'd had a mental breakdown the year before, which caused me to go into a massive surge of personal development. I was reading books. I was reading the Bible. I hired a mentor. Like I was going through, I was learning how to build click funnels at 20 something years old, 21 years old, at least 10, 11 years ago, getting into digital marketing, reading psycho cybernetics at freaking 20 years old, not understanding 90% of what the book was saying because I was so new to everything. And I was, I was already making the sacrifices. I lost 40 pounds that I had gained in college from an eating disorder, right? And so the natural byproduct of that when I decided to do a pageant a couple months later I was already on this habitual development train. Winning a pageant became the byproduct of actions I was already taking. Do you guys see that? So, and then on top of that, you look at phases of competition. My paperwork was trash. First of all, I changed, I changed my platform between locals and, nas- or, and state. I'll never forget that. Atrocious. But I'd been singing for 20 years of my life, right? My parents met in a recording studio 36 years ago. So we picked a song. And my natural ability, but again, it's not even natural ability. Actually, I don't even want to say that. It was actions over time. I was in music school, practicing singing every day of my life, right? I'd been on worship team, leading worship in front of crowds of hundreds, if not thousands of people, since I was 13 officially. But my first solo was at five years old in front of 4,000 people in a civic auditorium at the largest Easter service in all of Nebraska, okay? And my parents are like, yeah, she'll be fine. She'll rock it. Like literally five years old, okay? And so my confidence, my certainty to think, oh, I could win Miss Douglas County, Miss Omaha, whatever, came from thousands and thousands and thousands of repetitions over time, okay? And that made me confident. Even if I was nervous, I was still confident. So I want to pass that off to you today because so many people think it's like a mystery of why people win consistently. And there's this big mystery to confidence. And I'm like, there literally is not. There literally is not. Confidence comes from certainty. Certainty comes from action. Say it with me. Confidence comes from certainty. Certainty comes from action. 
okay? So get off your Djibouti and take some action. What if the action's wrong? I don't care. That's part of figuring it out. How do I know where the target is? You take a bunch of action and you're like, that wasn't the right road. Nope, target's not over there. That was a forest. Oh, I tripped. Oh, this didn't work. Like, oh, how do I find out if I like biking or not? I go to a bunch of biking classes and I'm like, ew, I'm more of a CrossFit person. Or I go to CrossFit and I'm like, ew, I'm more of a biking person. Or I'm more of a workout by myself person. But you can philosophize all day and get all stuck up in your own head about things of wondering and and thinking, 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 thinking yourself to death. Or you can just go try stuff and it is way faster and you're going to have more fun and you're going to meet cool people along the way. And there's going to be some people that bug you that they're not your tribe and you're like, whoa, not my tribe. But guess what? That's how you find out who your tribe is. It's kind of like trying a bunch of churches or dating how do you know what you like until you go on freaking dates with people and then you're like, ew, 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 not my type, ew, gross, ew, I hate that, eh, medium, neutral, love, right? You literally don't know until you take action, okay? So in this new season of pageantry, what do you need to take action doing, okay? And if you feel like it's the right time for us to help you narrow that target and figure out, here are the literal things that you need to do, okay? I have 40 accomplishments that I need you to check off in six months of working with us. And if you do these 40 things, okay, which are like parts of the whole, they're milestones, you're going to do great. And I, I just talked with two of my clients today that just competed this past season. And, you know, some of them did exactly how they wanted to, exactly how they wanted to place. And then some of them were surprised because there were some curveballs of <laughs> what happened in their pageants this year that were unfortunately uncontrollable. And, you know, it's so cool. I'm, I'm so proud of our students is that they were like, oh, I'm totally fine. I'm killing it in life. Like, I'm doing it again next year. This was totally not my season. I know what I did wrong. I know what I want to work on. I love who I am. Took a couple days to eat some pizza and ice cream and I'm rocking it, you know. But they don't feel like they need like, oh, I'm going to take three months off. I'm going to take four, I'm a year off because I just, this was my everything. They're like, I'm fine. I'm like, I love it. I love it. It makes me so happy. Like literally all of our clients this year in New Conwood, but all of our clients have been like, oh no, I'm good. Like, because you, you guys like taught us, hey, this is not my identity. This is not everything. Like I know I did what I could do. And you know, some of our clients too are like, hey, here are the two areas. I totally slacked this year, even though you were holding me accountable and I rocked in these other areas. These are the two areas I still know I have to work on. They totally held me back and I'm going to own it. But they're not like, oh, I'm so bad at these areas of competition and I just hate myself for it. And I'm going to go eat ice cream for 40 days and gain 30 pounds and then hate myself. And blah, blah, blah. They're just like, no, I objectively sucked in this area <laughs> or I was mediocre. I was medium, you know, and they can get excited about the future because they're like, dude, I can just I can work smarter. I'm going to continue to get better. And what's meant for me is meant for me. And they're going to keep crushing it in the workplace and choosing better relationships, professional relationships, having more fun in life, having more fun in prep, engaging in community, not doing life alone. And that's what it's all about, y'all. So take action today. If we can help you narrow that target, please join the free course below, first of all, so that you can like get even more of our vibe and learn from us and all that good stuff. And then second of all, you can book in a discovery call with a member of my team who will speak with you and qualify you and kind of just figure out, hey, is this the right fit for you to join the academy or maybe something different? We have kind of three different tiers of programs and different things that we sift people into based on their goals and their level of action that they're ready and willing to take. So this is so much fun to teach you guys this today. I'll see you next week. <laughs>